Okay guys, today I went above and beyond what I usually do for videos. Usually I just bully some kid on Twitter until my video gets taken down, but today I traveled across the globe to go to Russia, the most dangerous place on earth, to study this Twitch streamer in his natural habitat. Shortly after my arrival to Russia, I realized they're worse off than most third world countries. I mean look at this, they're so underdeveloped that they still write in hieroglyphics. I can't read this, what does this say? And Russia is so poor that on Twitch TV they donate in rubs instead of money. Like this guy donated 6,000 rubs to this kid. That's a lot of rubbing to do. And the big question at hand, why are all these grown men sending rubs to this little kid? Why do they want to rub a little kid? Is this an underground pedophile ring disguised as a Twitch stream? I don't know. You do the math. What'd he just say? What did he just say? The age of consent? I don't think these grown men care about the age of consent. All they're concerned about is getting their rub in on you. And I think you should stop right now, sir. I'm not sure exactly what he's saying because I don't understand hieroglyphics. But he's either saying blood or rubs, and I have good reason to believe he is demanding blood. What he does next might disturb you. When he demanded blood, he meant it. If there are any kids watching this video with you, cover their eyes immediately. Because this Twitch streamer literally walks off camera to jump into a wood chipper. And then when he's done, we sit in silence, wondering, waiting, will he ever come back to his stream? If you guys are wondering, Russia is so underdeveloped, the only piece of machinery they own in their country is a wood chipper. So what they do for fun sometimes, is throw themselves into it while it's turned on. And then after a very suspenseful 2 or 3 minutes, he comes back to the stream, and he is not very happy with how his time in the wood chipper went. Blood. Yes, blood. Luckily he had a towel nearby to stop the bleeding, otherwise shit could have gotten real bad. Since he hasn't fully recovered from the previous injuries from the wood chipper, he calls up one of his rub donators to fulfill his side of the agreement and give him a little massage to help him feel better. So you probably think all is well now, right? Well try again, dumbass. Look what happens next. So he goes to the door to greet his rub donator, and look what the rub donator does. That was not a rub like what was promised. That was a push. He was thrown across the room. The rub donator is a phony just trying to get into his house to steal his Twitch account, guys. He has finally defeated the invader, the rub phony. But it does not come without pain. He is hurt from the battle. So then he types in the code to a security system to make sure this never happens again. He is still very cautious though, so he grabs a weapon and checks to see if there's any more invaders. As you can see, he is very relieved there is no more invaders. The moral of the story guys, don't let strangers give you rubs on the internet, no matter how many rubs they promise.